Here we go. He's going to cross the flags and give him the one time around signal. Gino Broch and Perry Redeker battle for the lead in the turn number one, and it's Perry Redeker out in front. Gino Broch is second. The 38 car of Doug Cup runs third. The 13 of Merriman running in the number four spot, and the seven, or 57 of Pete Seitz runs in the number, or 75 rather, of Kusick runs in the number five spot. Perry Redeker, Gino Broach, one, two. Redeker, Broach, Cup, Merriman, and Kusick. And Tim Wood, and then Greg Newman, and then the 77 of Mr. Sano. Four complete, one third of the way, eight to go. Redeker with Broch applying the pressure chased by Doug Cup. Whoa! Hang on to your pants, folks. The seven car gets loose and goes right down into the grass. That brings out the yellow and out he comes. Whoa, that was a wild ride. And he fires it back up. with Gino Broch as we get to the halfway mark. Six down, six to go. Don Snow with a problem in that 77. Carl put it in the pit area, I think. with Gino Broch right on the tail. Nine complete, three to go this time by. Remember, the top two will move into the feature event right now. That's Perry Redeker and Gino Broche. Two to go. This time, two.
White flag for Perry Redeker. He's got about a three car length lead on Gino. Doug Cup now with a chance to break into that feature lineup as he chases the 22 of Gino Broche. And Redeker captures the checker. The 22 advances. That's Gino Broche. And Doug Cup. Gino Broche and Perry Redeker will now advance to the tail of the feature event. And let's give Perry Redeker a nice hand as it's time for the feature out of the sportsman pit. And here's your lineup. On the pole in car number 18, Kevin Latch, Performance Unlimited 85 Firebird. Outside, Bill Morrison. Here they come, the pace car is off. Pete Seitz slows way down off the pace. Pete Seitz got a flat tire. Pete Seitz got a flat right rear, puts him out before it even gets underway. Boy, Pete's gonna be disappointed about that. Hammerlang out in front. Whoa, the spin. Steve Art goes roundy round. Whoa, Steve Art goes roundy round, brings out the yellow on lap number two. And they'll get them all squared back away. Boy, three laps remain in this feature event. Or 24, one complete, I'm sorry. One lap complete. One lap is complete, if you can tell by the three little dots that we've got on the scoreboard. Nedley Wicker's going to give out some extra stuff here right after this one's over. back like a rocket through the back markers as he wants to get up into the lead serial of this one. Out in front right now is Gary Hemmerle. <laughs> Gary the Hammer Hemmerle leads him down the back to the riser off the pace in that two car. Whoa, Musgrave almost had no place to go as everybody's getting by on the bottom. He's stuck behind Riser looking for a hole and he drops down and he goes by. The Hammer leads it. Running second is Sowinski. Running third is Richard Lofi. In the number four spot is Bobby Gunn. Then it's Bennett, Bickle, and Carlson. Gun down inside of Richard Lofi trying to take over the number three spot and he's getting that job done. Gunner now runs third. Lofi's fourth.
Emmerling out in front. up a little bit on Gary Hemmerling as we have 10 laps, nine laps completed. We'll have 10 down this time by. 10 complete this time by. The hammer leads the way. Bobby Gunn now closing in on Gary Hemmerling. Richard Lofi trying the inside of Sawinski. And they've got Bickle in a box behind him right now. Lofi trying the inside of Sawinski. Bickle's in a box. Steve Arn is out of it. Car number nine, Arn is gone. Bach gets by Sawinski, and J.R. Bickle's trying to muscle his way down on the inside of Jim or of Rich Lofi, and he gets along the door. J.R. Bickle rides Lofi a bit high. Oh, Carlson got right underneath Rich Bickle. Here's Bobby Gunn on the hammer. The hammer down the back. Bob Gunn looks to the bottom and sticks his nose in underneath Hammerling. Hammerling doesn't give him much. Look at him come out of this corner side by side. Jerry Hammerling outpowers him. Now see if he can get down on the bottom and shut him back off. Oh, that's tight racing. Again down the back stretch, door to door. Hammerling and Gunn. Now Gunn's got the advantage on the bottom right now. Gary Hammerlang running second with Bob Gunn in front. The Gunner out in front. We'd like the police officers to go to the front gate. It's not an emergency. The police officers, would you go to the front gate? This is not an emergency. We need an officer at the front gate for a non-emergency situation. 16 are complete. And 16 are complete. We're on lap number 17. It's Bob Gunn, Gary Hemmerling, J.R. Bickle, and Carlson. Gino Broch is out of it to 22, puts it on the cross stripe. Cheryl Janice is 26, goes the lap down. J.R. Bickle still chasing. Bob Gunn looks like he might be on the way to his first feature win of the 1985 season right now. We got a two car length lead over Gary Hemmerling, but J.R. Bickle and the 50th Steve Carlson are on the move trying to close the gap. Gary Hammerling, J.R. Bickle, Steve Carlson. John Hammerling, Bickle. Carlson and Musgrave. Twenty-two complete. Three more circuits of the oval for Madison's Bobby Gunn. Gunn, Hammerling, Pickle. Carlson, they're all closing up a little bit now. We got two laps left. (laughs) 
White flag for Bob Gunn. Checker Madison's Bobby Gunn is going to win it as he comes out of the corner. The 17 car of Gary Hemmerling finishes in the number two spot. The number three position goes to Richie Bickle. Finishing fourth is Steve Carlson. And Ted Musgrave takes the number five spot. Bob Gunn of Madison garners the number one checker in 1985 for that automobile. Hey, don't run away. We got a lot of racing left. And if you are running away, don't forget to drive carefully on your way home. Remember, next week we're going to have modifieds on Friday night along with Sportsman and the Street Stock cars. We've got the Street Stockers and the Nut Division coming after you yet. So we're not done yet. We've got a lot of racing left yet. Ned, have you got some things to give away? Okay, Jimmy, I gotta thank you very much. It's time for our last pricks of the evening. And my able assistant Mary here is gonna be helping me as soon as the wind dies down. Everything just flew here. So now it's time to pick some names. First name is Chris Anderson of Fort Atkinson. Chris Anderson of Fort Atkinson. The next name. Gail Chapman, Gail Chapman of Edgerton, Gail Chapman of Edgerton. <laughs> 